I'm Becky Witzel and I have a business called Studio Work which is a group of people that uh, do documentation and recreation of historic painted decoration. So that's what we've been doing for the last 20 something years. Right now we're working on the Over the Jumps carousel at the Little Rock Zoo. The goal was to uh, get a sound weather resistant finish on the horses so that they would last to repair any kind of damage to the wood or the structure and to um, then provide a maintenance schedule of how the horses would be repaired in the future and, uh, and how they would be maintained. The horse comes off the carousel, we bring it in here, we take its picture, uh, front side, back side. Um, then we um, begin to study it. We look for places where it's been wounded, where there are cracks and breaks and so forth. And then um, we want to know every detail and we're, each horse has a notebook. Uh, tracings are made of all the decorative painting. Each horse is going to have a permanent set of samples of, the, of each color that was used, labeled where they came from. So someone 20 years from now can check our work. If we've done something that could stand another interpretation, then that information is still there. That's the sad thing about having to remove historic paint, is that you would like not to have to do that. But in this case, uh, being over 80 years old, it just had no more integrity uh, to protect the wood. And at the end of that research, we're ready to begin uh, stripping all the paint from the horse. So we can really see the damage, the wood damage, and repair it. If the paint were still left on there, there would be things that we would miss. Uh, so we have to, have to go through that process. Like most of it is pretty much just uh, little horror stories of <laughs> things that have happened to the horse back in the day when somebody just kind of shoved their bubble gum in there and stuck it back on the ride, you know, just to, not literally, but just to, uh, just to get the thing up and running again. I mean, I have a can in there of random screws and nails where, you know, something happened and somebody's just like tried to screw it back together and put it back on the ride. Uh, there's a lot of that. That's the majority of it, is, you know, some carny in the 30s just trying to get that horse back on that ride. I'm Colin Miles, and essentially my duties here are to uh, strip, clean the horses, repair any damaged joints or uh, any parts of the wood, of the woodwork, that have been ruined over time or eroded or broken by misuse or mishandling. And repair all of that and then restore the surface back to a uh, smooth and workable surface for the later painting and initialize the paint layers with the priming and the base coats and some decoration and then anything else in the middle there that might need to be tended to, such as hardware, like the little bits and pieces of metal that are on the horse, the horseshoes, uh, bridle, and stirrup straps. Everything looks like not new, but just to bring it all up to where it looks attractive again. My name is Elena Petruchina. Right now, I am stripping paint off the horse completely down to the wood and removing all the layers of the paint, including the original paint and the primer. I also um, open windows on the horse to uh, see the original paint and uh, after the lab, uh, analysis of the paint um, and match the colors to the original paint and I do some painting and uh, oh, I do a little of everything I guess I mean we all do everything so a lot of thought goes into the uh, just trying to think out how they went about building these things and sort of like kind of backtrack 
you know, time travel and try to imagine what they're coming up with when they're putting these things together. You know, and like seeing, you know, it's, it's pretty obvious, like the more that you see of the horses, you can see like different hands, different styles of carving, you know, and just like to see the history and like the moving thought that goes with the history of these horses is probably the most interesting thing. Just to see like, you know, every carve, every like line and everything that goes with it, you know, it's like some one person sat there and did it. And, you know, it varies and like day to day, you know, you're sure that like they didn't have enough breakfast and maybe the line goes a little crooked or whatever. Uh, just seeing that history is pretty interesting. The biggest surprise in the project for me has been um, to, you know, you get so focused on these single horses and uh, you become enamored of them. They kind of capture your imagination. But the biggest surprise for me has been to get to see them as a unit of 40 pieces on a moving ride from the 1920s. And so I think it takes the emphasis off of the individual horses and lets you understand the ride, the amusement park technology of the 1920s and these colors and the composition and how they repeat on each horse and the fact that they're moving around in a circle. That's a very important part of it. Well, I think that there is only uh, maybe three of these left in the nation of this, of this kind, the uh, over the jumps. Um, I may be wrong on that, but I mean, it's, it's just been part of Little Rock for so long. I mean, I, re I remember riding it when I was like a toddler, you know, and uh, it just seems that in, uh, especially in like the world of Walmart, you know, in Arkansas, we need something that's got some culture and some longevity to it to uh, be part of what Little Rock is. I do believe that it's important to restore this carousel and to keep it um, restored for children in the future and adults. Um, it, it represents uh, a certain time of American history and also European history because that's where the carousels began. Um, I just think that there are a lot of things about the past that people need to understand can belong to their future.